What's up guys, this is Clockwork from Team Frogo Tech, Defending World Champions in Team Fortress 2. I've been a long time Zowie fan since the EC series. I love the feel of the mice, I love what they're all about. Today I will show you guys the Zowie ZA12 from the newest ZA series they have released. The Zowie ZA11 being the largest, the Zowie ZA12 being slightly smaller, and the Zowie ZA13 being the smallest. All the same shape, just different sizes for different hands. Stay tuned, I'll put it on a mouse pad for you guys, I'll show you the grip, I'll show you the specifications, the functionalities, and then I'll put it side by side with other popular mice and you can determine the size for yourself, see if it's a good size for you, and I'll show you the differences. So uh, stay tuned and we'll get right to it. So this is the ZA12. The ZA series is a lot like the FK series in shape, as you can see. The big difference is the lip and the wing on either side. It's an ambidextrous mouse. So you can see it over here and on the other side, maybe, right there. And the purpose of it is for when you're palm gripping. So you put your ring finger underneath, and no matter how much you move or pick up your mouse, it will never feel like it's slipping out of your head. Contrast that with, let's say, the EC2A. Another great mouse, I love it. Palm grip it. But if I haven't been playing for a while, or I just sat down, it feels like it's going to slip out of my hand sometimes. I don't really like that. Sometimes it's a little frustrating, but with the ZA12, it never feels like it's going to slip out of my hands, which is always a plus, because there's actually like a mechanical thing on the mouse that's causing you to not be able to drop it, which is what I really, really like. The Huano switches. So there have been some controversy with it. Some people don't really like the switches, but I'll have you know that the ZA12 does a really good job of mitigating the force required to press the buttons just because your fingers are already downward on an angle as soon as you grip the mouse. So it's a lot easier to press the button compared to something like, again, the EC2A where I'm kind of fighting against the shape to click it. it just It's not as fluid or natural feeling as when you feel and you use the ZA12 and you click. It's just straightforward, in my opinion. Sensor, 3310, Avago 3310. Same you'll find in the EC. Same you'll find in the FK. Great sensor, DPI steps 400, 800, 1632. Switchers on the bottom, 400, 800, 16, 32, 400. Um, lift off distance, super low, as you'd expect with Zowie Mice, perfect. It'll never drag when you pick up your mouse, which is required if you play games that require precision. Polling rates, up to 1000 hertz as per usual. 125, 500, 1000. Mouse wheel, 24 step, crisp, fast. I've been a bee hopper ever since I was like 13. I used to do it on CSOR servers all the time. And honestly, I like the scroll wheel maybe the best on this mouse out of any other mouse I've ever used because it feels like it never gets stuck in between those two steps that other mice might get stuck between. So you'll be hop on, let's say, the death adder or maybe another mouse. And when you're done, the scroll wheel will be stuck between one step and another. And as soon as you touch your mouse really quick to make a quick movement, it'll activate that half a step and your character will jump when you really don't want it to. And that kind of sucks. It might get you killed and it's frustrating for sure. As for that, I never had a problem with the ZA12. So that's about it for the review. Just give me a second to find my mice. I'll put them side by side and you can see the shape and the size and the differences between them. So I took four popular mice here and I put them next to the ZA12 on the left here. You got the G303, the EC1, the EC2A, and the Razer Death Adder Chroma. As you can see, the two ambidextrous mice on the left here being the ZA12 and the G303 are all shorter than the ergonomic mice. As you would expect, the ergonomic mice are always going to be taller. They have that little peak on the left side here to fit the hand. If you look at it from a bird's eye view, they're about as level as I would say they could get. The EC1 and the Razer Death Out are definitely bigger. The G303 is definitely smaller. And it's around the same size, I would say, as the EC2. So if you're into an EC2 kind of size, I would say the ZA12 is a great pickup. If you're into a smaller mouse, definitely the ZA13. So if you use something like the G303 and you like that small feel, definitely try the ZA13. The ZA11 would be better if you're used to bigger palm grip mice. So you got the EC1 and the Razer Death Adder Chroma on the right. They're a little bit bigger than the ZA12, so the ZA11 might be a better choice for you. 
other than that, it's been my first mouse review, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any critiques, anything you'd like me to do next time if I ever do this again, please leave a comment below. And peace out.